Today I'm gonna do a hammer on lesson. We're just gonna really just focus in on really working that pinky. So we're gonna do an exercise that allows us to play some chords where we're really just focusing on isolating that pinky, okay? And it's a chord progression that is somewhat of a catchy tune so that way we can kind of like melodically and, and musically think of like the groove while we're working. So it's almost like we're working without working, okay? So we're gonna be in the key of A major. Um, if you're not that well with the numbers, I would highly suggest going back to look at the numbers, but you can all still watch the video. I'm just saying if the numbers don't make sense and you're trying to figure out what that is, then go back and watch lessons on the number system. That'll definitely help you um, be able to decipher exactly what I'm saying. So two, four, three, six. So we're just doing a hammer on on each chord. chords that we're doing with our root note is going to be on the fifth string we're just hammering off that B string and if we're on in our we're playing that sixth so you get used to what it feels like now if you're playing the progression you don't have to hammer on off of every chord if you were playing it live or if you were playing it in a groove you don't have to it can kind of be redundant but then for this simple purpose we're actually working that pinky we're working that pinky muscle so we we understand how to isolate it on that specific string <laughs> focusing on hammering on, on one string. We don't have to get into trying to do multiple strings because sometimes you have to go back to the basics to really build up. And this is a great exercise that's gonna allow us to build up uh, that exercise. So the progression again, we're gonna keep A major. Two, four, three, six. And if you know the numbers and you wanna to try to mess around where the different positionings on the neck of the guitar, that could be a whole nother exercise. Or we're playing one, so we're playing two, four, three, six. So you can kind of make and morph this exercise into other, you know, amazing things. As you expand in your practice time, this is a great exercise to really work on the hammer on. So really work on isolating that uh, strain, really focusing on trying to get that, that. Make sure you're hitting the string articulation. It's really important that you're string accuracy that you're hitting the right kind of notes while you're doing this hammer on. It's just a specific exercise. It's a groove that's really going to help you grow in the craft and really just kind of polish the hammer on. To get more help with your guitar journeys, watch these videos.